Hi everyone, my name is Emma and this is Gracie. Today we'll be talking about um, Gracie's experiences uh, coming to Australia. Um, so firstly, Gracie, could you tell us, have, have you ever imagined living in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> I am, no. Um, I was grew up in the village yes. and um, I never thought I would be coming out of the country. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, my only dream is having white kids. Oh. <laughs> having white kids. So that but, that brought you. <laughs> <laughs> but I really, I really don't know what's that gonna bring me because back in the Philippines, yes. it's actually like um, you had a good look. <laughs> you have a better opportunity. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I never imagined my life I'll get to Australia basically. Oh wow. So really, it's what your mind thinks that you would, you know, pursue and everything. It's mind over yeah, matter sometimes. That's when right. you think about something, you know, like you would want to um, pursue it and um, have all the steps in trying to get there somehow. Mm, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you when you left the Philippines and you came to Australia, um, was it? Uh, what were your feelings then, you know, like um, when you first landed here? Oh, uh, I wish I could be still that person, I reckon. <laughs> Have you changed? <laughs> In a way. <laughs> but that, that old me is fearless. Always aim the target and never think about the obstacles around it. I get there. So you're determined. Determination, <laughs> yeah, determinations. <laughs> And then when I landed in Perth, come to Australia, it's pretty different. I landed mm -hmm. in Perth, Western Australia. I never ever think that, where is he? Is he gonna <laughs> pick me up? Or what I'm gonna do if he's... I never even think about that. I just sort of like, come what may. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, what, what was your feeling then? You know, like um, just traveling from there to here. Oh, were yeah. you scared or were you nervous or <laughs> any other feelings? It was a lot of nerve-wracking because yeah. it's my first time to fly oh. international. Oh wow. And yeah. I only fly domestic anyway once. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Prior to that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then I come here, mm -hmm. I just just don't know what to expect. But just I just embrace what comes to me and mm let's take the life from there <laughs> <laughs> well it seems like you're enjoying it a lot more now <laughs> perhaps oh yes 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 <laughs> now that come to a lot of realization and <laughs> learning yeah. well life is full of um, <laughs> teachings and um, experiences which can be used as wisdom as you yeah you know. <laughs> which is already <laughs> yes yeah, so i think it's a blessed situation um yeah, can you describe um, what it feels like to actually live away from your family then? Because you know, all your life you grew up with your family and um, coming to Australia you actually come in alone. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah. For me, it's a lot of a struggle basically because... Um, at the beginning? At the beginning yeah. because my husband is working fly in, fly out. Yes. And he, he only be one week with with us yeah. and this fly out for three weeks um, but the other thing is I was living with my mother-in-law <laughs> <laughs> yes I have more time with my mother-in-law than my husband ah, well. so that was going on you know for five years yeah. or more yeah. that I was living with my mother-in-law so you got to know her oh a yeah lot, a, lot. a lot and she, I learned a lot from her. Oh, that's good. Also, the only English that I can understand that oh. speak is my husband. Because oh, you know the Australian, mm. they they have their accent. Yes. And for us Filipino, we have American accent. We thought at school American accent. For us, we see we seem to think that we don't have the accent. <laughs> we don't have the accent. <laughs> but that's not a nice way of explaining it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I never, never get to understand her. Um, 
we go through a conversation, but I think half of it I don't understand. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just like sort of um, reading the action yes. more than the word. You, you probably get the main idea. <laughs> that, that's right, that's right. Yeah. I mean, culturally, there's some differences. Um, so I, I'm sure you may have encountered that. And also, also you know, like um, age difference wise and things like that, you know, like the, there would be many factors that would have um, impacted when you first came, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, that's yeah. cool. Um, so apart from <laughs> living with your mother-in-law, um, was there any other difficulties that you encountered whilst you were in Australia? Because we know that, you know, you also built your business and things like that, you know, like, and so there, there must be many things that happened during the way. <laughs> yeah, it was so difficult for me. Well, yes. but I come to Australia as a fiancé visa. Yeah. Then that fiancé visa is actually has restriction on it. I have oh. to come to Australia to marry him within the period of nine months. Oh, I see. So if I don't marry him on that particular period, yeah. I have to get deported and never come back to Australia again. So on that on that whole nine months. I remember that I only got like a month left oh. to be married oh. <laughs> and Pressure. my husband yes. can't make up his mind Oh, because you know he's married before and he's got grown up kids yes. and his brothers and sisters and his mom yes. what are they gonna think you know oh, this I Australian see. getting this young Filipino woman to Australia and so, you know yeah. marry her and what's gonna happen next so he had a bit of pressure himself and um, a, a bit of I don't really know because he doesn't talk much oh, okay. and all you have to do is you know like mind reading to the point of depression oh. I was some sort of depression that he didn't know a yeah. sort of like crying overnight while he's snoring you know what I mean yes, yes. he's snoring but you are crying because you don't know you, you want to say something to him but it's were just, you afraid to say it or? I, I don't know it's it's a mixture of a feeling because yeah. I'm already pregnant so it's uh -huh. a mix you know you know the yes. feeling when you're pregnant that your emotion your your hormones you know, change yeah, and things like that <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah it was it was a big struggle for me because only got one month left yeah. and I thought well I already experienced the life here in Australia yes. whereas before I didn't know what to expect and I don't care you know yeah. but now I experience what what's you know opportunity and everything else is but then if I get deported I'll be back to the Philippines and that's it yeah. <laughs> so I was like sort of depressed and uh, my hormones changed because I was pregnant mm. and I I was actually, he didn't know because mother-in-law always yeah. grabbed his attention uh, we have gone in the middle of conversation, yeah. he has to leave me oh no <laughs> you know, he yeah. has to go entertain his mom yeah. and well that's the thing, if you are living with your in-laws um, there's bound to be <laughs> I was like, some sort of perception ringing my friend mm. I, I think I had enough, I think I'll pack my bag. Then he doesn't even know that I packed my bag. I got the bag in the in the um, gate, ready to go. I was just waiting for my friend to pick me up. But I was just maybe just just mixture of everything, the emotion, you know. The, yeah. You just can't explain the how where, did you come up with that? Where were you going? I don't know. <laughs> I'm in Australia. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought I pack my bag and just I have go. enough. I go. I, I, I can't live can't live like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then maybe in in God's presence that um, maybe it's just his way that my my friend didn't pick me up. Your but friend didn't? No. Oh. But all along my husband didn't know that my bag was packed and it's ready to go. Oh. And because um, we're living in the back room, like granny flat. Yes. And then he was always inside the house talking mm. to his mom yeah and then he come out and you know just checking on me if i'm still there <laughs> <laughs> basically That's but yeah it was it was it's it's we're we're laughing now but the emotion yeah. back then was was 
really it was more really, intense yeah, wasn't it okay. yeah and i just go with the flow from there oh so you you stayed because I stayed. your friend you didn't pick you up <laughs> Well, maybe that was God's intention that you needed to stay. <laughs> That's right, yes. Um, and did you find out why your friend didn't pick you up eventually? Or? No, she's also do, um, encountered a struggle on her life. Uh, she probably don't want me to add on to her shoulder. <laughs> 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 a few added burdens. That's okay. Yeah, exactly. That's okay. Yeah. It's like, give me more. <laughs> no, <it's> like, <laughs> um, yeah, so... Apart from that, was there, um, can you describe yourself, you know, like a, as a woman, you know, like going through that would have strengthened you, I believe, you know, like, um, so as a woman, a wife, um, a business owner, can you describe more about yourself? Yeah, it's, as a woman, I always, um, well, describe myself as a strong woman because I could imagine <laughs> not many, not many that can stand up for yourself from the village. Uh, you could imagine where mm. I was from, and then I come all the way to Australia. And when you get to Australia and get to know more, I think it's discovering myself. Yeah, I'm here to discover myself. Yeah. <laughs> Self discovery is good. Yeah. So and sometimes you need to be in a different environment to be able to, you know, like discover your full potential. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and being a mother as well, I think I wasn't enjoying being a mother before, like because I'm busy working, like. I just want people to know as well that it's during that time you had the business, is that no? Yeah. I was working that time. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, you know, here in Australia, yes. you have to do it all by yourself. Yes. A lot of things you need to do by yourself. Because back, back the country where I was. Yeah. I don't know about your country, but it, it's similar. You, just you a need lot to have of help. A, yes, a lot of um assistance and. A lot not of, just from yeah. family but you've got external assistance you know from um uh, maids and personal assistance and things like uh, yeah, that if yeah if you can afford it <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. but here you have to juggle everything but for me as a mother I, I would consider myself not very good at the beginning but um it it teach me a lot like any other parents like i just dump my kids in the in the childcare in the morning I know it's five o'clock in the morning I have to you know just dress them up even they still sleep dump in the car wait for the daycare to open and put them and put them in the daycare and there you go you don't you don't you know like, everything's a bit of a rush yeah. yeah but then now that when I had the business yeah. God has taught me a lot because I was some sort of a religious person back when I was in the Philippines yeah well back when I was young but then when I started working when I was here I slowly slowly drifted yeah. I normally go to church every Sunday and mm. I have my rituals morning and night or some you know this but that was all totally gone when Tot you came to Australia or the moment I got work as I think uh, yes. and then I got kids yes that you know more like time it was at time restriction. I don't know, but maybe it's too much destruction of, in a sense of you're busy. Yeah. You, you know, like, oh, uh, that can, because because if you don't have that strong belief that, you know, that go to church and all that, if you yeah. don't have that really inner thing on you. Yeah, you need to motivate and. You work. want, I feel like you want to um, prioritize it. Yeah. I should say. Yeah. Yeah. So I was drifted with God for. Nine, might be eleven years now, and but you can comfortably say you're back with God now. I am, <laughs> yes, yes I am, I am, and I discover peace, yeah. peace. Life is so simple <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if we choose it That's to be. Right. You know, yeah. like, we can we can also have a busy life, but a peaceful mind as well. Yes. Some people don't realize. Yes, yeah. yes. and um, yeah, it can work both ways, but you need a, a balanced life. You know, like in order for that to happen. <laughs> but yeah. balance everyone's balance is quite different you know yes. <laughs> now um was there anything else you'd like to add to that or was there a quote or a verse or song that you can relate to yeah. that sort of explains it about you <laughs> or your situation <laughs> well my I, 
I always consider my life is not that hard or difficult. Mm. God is always protect me in every ways, you know. Yeah. And I always have the song in me that say God will make a way when it seems to be no way. Yeah. You know? I'll just I'll just think that every time, every time I come to difficulties mm. and I don't even realize just <laughs> that I've gone through difficult times, but mm -hmm. for me, I was just some sort of like day to day. Yeah. And then you realize later on, oh, that was the hard way, but I don't know how I did it. Yeah. How did I <laughs> get through it? That's right. It, it's like the impossible is actually possible. That's right. And people do say, with God, everything is possible. <laughs> 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 we will we'll do it. <laughs> Now, what is your biggest lesson? I know there's a lot of um, re religious um, aspects of things as well, um, God's intervention. Was there any other lessons that you've learned throughout this journey? Um, <laughs> my life is not that difficult as I said earlier, mm. but there is a lot of bumps through. Then I've just thought towards the end, now that I'm back with God, and yeah. actually dedicated myself to be like, solid back to be solid mm. it's, it's a lot of process you, you know that yeah. you can't just have it like one night I'll be back <laughs> with God and all that no but it's, it's, it's a lot of time yeah so I have it. learned that don't make things complicated <laughs> <laughs> don't make things complicated you just have to some things are very simple yes but people can make it complicated <laughs> <laughs> it, it does because it's a lot of distractions and a lot of you know when, when you sometimes a lot of opinions as well you know like yes that. mix of everything mix of everything yeah. your emotion it will trigger your emotions mm. all those opinions and if you're overreacting it's, <laughs> it, it compounds to, yeah, it does yeah. and then it come to depression i think it, it will depress you and because i had that point in my life so many times i don't have a problem but why i'm not happy like if I if if I put my life like I evaluate my life like I don't have a problem why I'm not happy did you figure it out eventually why why weren't you happy and are you happy now <laughs> well I am happy now in the sense of because I, I figured it out that life is too short living in someone else's opinion towards you. I guess once you found God, um, it doesn't matter what happens to you, you would always find that peace and happiness as well. So yeah. I think your journey appears to be that way. <laughs> um, was there anything else you'd like to um, let the audience know about your life and well, your life journey? I was just going to say, just if you dream and if you if you have something that you want to pursue in life, just aim it. Don't think about the obstacles around it. Just just go for it. And then everything will fall into place, I guess. Yeah. Stay focused on it. Yeah. And then right. <laughs> let God work wonders. Hey, thank oh, thank you very much, Emma. <laughs> this is uh, Emma Hanma, the founder of Health World, Health World Pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. <laughs>